Anxiety has become such a popular topic. Here it is again this week. Well, this time, instead of treating it with potentially toxic pharmaceutical antidepressant drugs with primarily a placebo effect, we've learned of a new Australian study touting the medicinal benefits of an alternative, the root of the herb, kava. Now, of course, we always recommend lifestyle before supplements or medications, but if you need something more than exercise and other stress reduction techniques, you might want to investigate kava. Well, there was a study that was done on this, Vicki, that was from the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology, published <laughs> in May of this year, 2013, shows that it works for generalized anxiety disorder. This was a study out of the University of Melbourne, as you mentioned. And actually, this study was only on 75 patients. But what it did show is that it was a safe thing to do, that it worked over eight weeks and had about a 25 percent uh, percentage remission in those people who were very anxious compared to placebo, which was just six percent. And there was a less chance of dependency. Yeah. And side effects. Yeah, it's it's definitely a safe drug to use, even though it's had a bad rap in the past. In fact, the FDA put out some warnings about it a few years ago. But we now know that the reason why that was an issue is because you have to have just the root, not the stems or the leaves included in it, or it can put you at a higher risk for developing liver disease. So in other words, a person that is interested in taking this needs mm -hmm. to investigate and contact the company I and think make I would. sure that the only thing that's in the kava is the root? Yeah, and most of the time today, that's what you're going to find is the situation because everybody's aware of it, particularly the people who are the, the ones making these products. You know, it's interesting too. Kava also works as a as a local anesthetic, doesn't it? When you put it, when you grind up the root and you mix it with water and you take it in very quickly because it it, it deteriorates pretty quickly, you'll have kind of a numbing effect of the tongue uh, and of the of the gums. So I was thinking it might be a good thing to take before you go to the dentist. That's a great idea. I think the dentist would be happier so with patients. Although I don't think that's typical, but leave it to you to figure out something with common sense. <laughs> and then also, it works on the brain, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It it, it it does it empowers the GABA receptors to be a little bit more active and that is relaxing. It also relaxes muscles. So it's something that is relaxing in several ways that gives you the effect that you're looking for. And it increases a woman's libido. Libido. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyway, you might want to think about investigating Kava a little further and maybe mm -hmm. trying that if you're you know, if you're depressed and these other techniques don't work as far as lifestyle and exercise. And yeah, anxiety is the big thing, and, and we know that, that it works fairly well, so it's worth giving it a try. We have a lot of things on antidepressants and anxiety on our, on our website, drsaputo.com. Yeah, but at the same time, you still don't want to be relying on anything <clears throat> unless you really have to. Uh, when, it talk, when it comes to drugs or pharmaceuticals or supplements. I think that what we need to do is find the cause for why people are anxious or why they're depressed and then see if we can solve that problem. And when you're in an acute situation where you're not functioning very well and you can't work on the problem, that's when it's a reasonable time to go ahead and do something about uh, trying something that will reduce your stress level so that you can function to work on your problem. So get at the root of the problem oh, and don't depend on the root. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Vicki. That's good advice.